In this video, we're gonna talk about hiring the right person. So step one, understand the pre-hire conditions. And that is before you even think about hiring, is there enough money uh, or funding? Uh, what's the environment like? Uh, how is the role gonna evolve? Uh, what type of team are they gonna work with? Have you thought about the culture? All those good things. That's what we call the pre-hiring conditions. That's step one. Uh, the second point here is that you have to understand that uh, we need a really good job specification. And in that job spec, we have to do two things. We have to set the requirements that we want. And we also have to understand that we're selling the role to the prospective candidate. It has never been a more competitive market. And there's so much information out there. So the job spec is still very much needed. But the ability to have to sell through it to the candidate we have to understand that it's a two-way process. The third point here is the job spec has to be validated. It will have certain expertise. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're running the company. We always think we know what we want, but we have to validate that job specification with people that are doing that role. You could use um, a headhunter, a recruitment agent. Uh, you could look for job specs that are already online in order to base yours off of. I mean, look at LinkedIn. There's an enormous amount of information out there in order to get the right job spec. So the fourth point here is that once you've got someone into the interview process, um, you're gonna want to do that thoroughly. Most of the bad hires happen right there. They happen at the point in which we say, okay, I like that person, and they don't do a second interview, they don't look at consensus interviewing with other people, uh, they don't screen the process properly, and more importantly, and this is a big one, they don't validate they don't follow up uh, in terms of understanding whether it be refereeing, scoring, uh, looking at what they're doing in the industry, checking or substantiating their actions. It sounds crazy that we need to get to that level of detail, but actually hiring effectively is about covering all the bases. The more we cover, the more likely that we're gonna let risk you know, come into the process. So it's about risk reduction by answering all the right questions. And then, Lastly, let's say we've now validated uh, the candidate and we're happy, we need to ensure that we can make a competitive offer. The, the competitive offer is linked to this process. It's sold in part through the job specification, but we have to sell now not just the role, but the future of that role within this environment that they're entering. If we can nail that, we can often get hires that we never imagined were possible. So there's a few uh, tips on, on the hiring process. I'm gonna leave you with one further takeaway, and this is key to me, and it's like, well, we've got the pre-hiring conditions, we've got the process, what happens once they're in? Well, hiring the right person can happen in isolation, but the minute that person enters a team of three, five, 20, or 500, the reality is there are all these things we do to ensure that the candidate transitions into their role well, they go through the right training. Uh, they have perhaps a, a team buddy that can help them with the company. It doesn't matter how small it is. There is an understanding of what the culture is like. What, how do we want the people to work? What kind of fun can they have within the culture? And then what are the future development needs? All these things are about sustainable hiring, essentially growing your resources and creating an environment that's valuable. That's the takeaway. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.